Before I start this cooking video, I want to thank somebody that sent me something very special. His name is Mr. Hollick on YouTube, and he sent me this cookbook, and it was his mom's from 1950. If you look in here, wait, I gotta be careful, this is not from him. And if you look in here, you can see where she taped recipes and she wrote in her little notes and things, and it, it's just absolutely amazing. And the pictures are so cool because it's from the 50s, so it's all women in pearls and stuff. But it's such, I, I was so touched by this. I actually cried when I opened it and read his note. And I want to thank him for entrusting me with this lovely, lovely book. I mean, this is like the coolest thing ever. Thank you so much, Sean. I really, really love it. And I'll take very, very good care of it. We're gonna make French toast, but not your typical French toast. What we're gonna do is kind of like a stuffed French toast. What you're gonna get is some strawberry jam. You'll need your basic French toast custard. I'll, I'll put the uh, ingredients for the custard in the description. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna melt your butter and get it ready for your French toast. You're gonna heat up your pan. You're gonna take your jam and you're gonna spread it on both sides of the bread. Today we're using strawberry, strawberry jam. Schmuckers. Schmuckers strawberry jam. Taste the jelly. Taste the jelly. I used to love that commercial. It was crack. It always reminded me of you, Frank. Really? Yeah, because every time we sat at the table, you'd start saying that. Taste the jelly. Okay, you're gonna make like a sandwich, right? Then you're gonna cut it in half. There you go. You're gonna dip it. But don't let it soak. Just dip it for like less than 30 seconds on each side and you're gonna put it in there. As a matter of fact, let me bring this closer so I don't have too much of a mess up in here. Okay, so you dip it and then you turn it over. You let it drip out and you place it in the pan. You hear that? It's a sizzle. All right, you dip it real quick and then you just put it in there. And we're gonna let that cook. Okay. While you're while you're cooking those, you prepare a few more ahead of time, and you dip them just before you put them on the grill. Don't let them sit with the dip because if they get over soaked, ooh, they just roast. No, fall apart. Yeah, they fall apart. And it's just like horrible. So I just make a few in advance, and then get them ready to put on for the next cooking session. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Kind of like a stuffed French toast. They look ready. Almost. You don't have to use white bread. You can use any bread that you like, whole wheat, whatever you like, or any type of filling that you like. You can use Nutella, strawberry jam that I'm using, grape jam, any type of filling that you like. You can even add fresh fruit inside of it, like bananas with Nutella. That, that sounds really good. And um, yeah, there's all different variations of making this dish. That's what's great. You can adapt it to whatever you want it to be. Next, we're gonna make the whipped topping that's gonna go on top of these, okay? So we're gonna put them in a warm oven. Just preheat your oven to like 175 just to keep them warm while you're making the topping for these. Next, we're gonna make a whipped topping and this is a flavored whipped topping. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take about eight ounces of heavy cream, about a cup, you know, more or less, depending on how much you want. You can double this you, if you want. And you're gonna put it into a mixture and mix it on high until you're making whipped cream. Um, make sure the ingredients are cold. That helps a lot. So we're gonna whisk this on high and then we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup to it. So that's your flavored whipped cream. You can flavor it with other things too. There's other ways of making flavored whipped cream. You can even make chocolate whipped cream to go with this. A little vanilla. A little vanilla if you like, or with a couple of tablespoons of sugar, you add a little vanilla. That's a nice whipped cream too. For adults, too. you could do a little amaretto. You can do a little liqueur, but not for breakfast, Frankie. Then he's oh. taking a nap by 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get started. See, once it gets to that consistency where you see that it makes like a peak, you're going to add in your two tablespoons of maple syrup and continue to blend. Make sure you put it on high. And 
there you go. Don't over whip it. Because if you over whip it, you're going to end up with butter. With maple flavored <laughs> butter. But yeah, that's it. See how nice that is? Look how nice that is. See how it holds a peak? It's not hard to make your own whipped cream. It's very, very easy. And it tastes so much better. It really, really tastes so much better than the can. It's done. I'm going to add a little powdered sugar. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and then some whipped cream. And if you want, you can add extra syrup on top of it. I personally like it just like this. But let's try this out because this is so good. Mmm. Oh, that's a nice breakfast. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You gotta try this. It's easy. And you can actually impress people because it looks like really fancy. But try it. I hope you enjoy. Call the boys down, we're gonna eat. What about me? <laughs> oh, you wanna try it? You can't keep trying it all morning. Oh, Frankie doesn't wanna be on cam because he's not dressed yet. It's I'm, very early I'm here. Na I'm really naked. <laughs> yeah. He's not naked. Mmm. Mm. How is that? Nice, right? Mmm. Mm. That is a bit better than I thought. <laughs> better than he thought. <laughs> <laughs>